14th Amendment has been used as a sword and a shield to protect people from inequality. We are going to be celebrating for the next three years something we call Civil Rights at 50. We're coming up on the 50th anniversary of a number of milestones in civil rights history. On August 28th of this year, it will be the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom, where the famous and iconic I Have a Dream speech was given by Dr. Martin Luther King. Next year, in 2014, there will be the celebration of the anniversary of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. In 2015, we'll celebrate the anniversary of the Voting Rights Act and the Immigration and Nationality Act. I'm very, very excited about, you know, what's to come. I am working on a project with Marcus Shelby and Stephen Anthony Jones on a project that commemorates the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington. And this piece looks at the march from kind of the side of, of the everyday people. 1960, Ringo, Georgia. Matty Green is killed when a bomb explodes under her house. Everyday people, the heroes, and she rose of the civil rights movement. The work that was done then allows us to do the things that in some ways we take for granted today. We will be highlighting the life of Ella Baker and Bayard Rustin. We now demand a program of action in 1963 that will ensure the emancipation of all labor, regardless of color, race, or creed. I think he was talking about all men and yeah, women. women. The words of Bayard Rustin. What I think about Eva Patterson, I think of it as a partner in the movement that continues today. And so our first effort this August is going to really focus on the martyr. Those men and women who gave their lives for all of us today. There's an African concept called Sankofa, which means look at the past as you move to the future. So we wanna look at the past and celebrate the past, but we wanna say the fight is not over. The fight has changed and we need to come together to move forward. But we also want everybody to know you can play a role in this. You don't have to be Barack Obama to make a difference in the world. There were lots of people whose names we do not know who made an enormous difference. Sponsors can benefit from being involved with us by meeting new people, um, by getting their name out there as people who support civil rights, um, feeling good about themselves. Uh, it can be more prosaic. You'll get a tax deduction if you give us money. And I think you'll just end up feeling better about yourself because you know you will have supported an organization that is in the trenches fighting on a daily basis for racial justice. We believe that art can move people in ways that speechifying and lawsuits may not. We also think it's just fun. People are going to see a combination of uh, the spoken word, dancing, and music. August 28th, August 28th, at the Oakland Museum, join us and see the full piece. Woo.